Hello, 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 babies. How are you? How are you? How are you? My name is Siren Red, and you're watching Siren Red Tarot. So, today I have decided on what we're going to do. Instead of doing a reading every day, I'm going to read Monday through Friday, and I'm going to take Saturday and Sunday off. Because I think what's happening is I keep getting tired, like either in the middle of the week I don't want to do one, or by the weekend I don't want to do one, and then I feel bad, and I'd be like, man, damn, I should have did one this weekend. But honestly, like, I can get a day off. Maybe if I take a day off, it would be easier for me to work. I mean, a weekend off, and I'd be wanting to do stuff on the weekend, and sometimes I'd be out late, and that's like when I come back and I'm not going to want to read. And sometimes I wake up late and I'm not going to want to read because I got to be somewhere. So I decided to take weekends off, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing like this um this day. Somebody's not going to believe me until you do it. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. But um, because I do be flaky sometimes. But I'm going to start doing like, what do you need to know today? Read it in the morning. Um, every morning. It's going to be a short reader, maybe like 10 minutes. Because you guys don't even like when it comes to like angel readings and stuff you should know, like y'all don't really seem to be interested in that. So I don't um tend to do them that often because it's like nobody watches them. You get what I'm saying? Nobody watches them. Y'all only want to watch um stuff about the people you guys are dating and shit like that. So I don't know. But I feel like those kind of readings are important, so I'm gonna do them anyway. So watch them, don't watch them, but I'm gonna do them anyway. I knew I had more makeup wipes. I was like, oh, maybe I ran out of makeup wipes, but I know I had more. We're going to tell you about your future spouse. be helpful. I like when they let me use the next goodness. Which one? Which one? Okay. Don't fuss and fight. Just tell me which one. Sure.
Where's my other thing? My box. I'm missing a box for one of my cards. Oh, my bad. Because <laughs> I'm moving slow as fuck. I'm like, I be forgetting this shit is on a timer. It's like a protection spray. Okay, let's look at your future spouse. I'm just over here lollygagging, having a good old time. I be forgetting that um, this shit is on a timer. It's already seven minutes in. Future spouse. What can you say about power number one's future spouse? Okay. What can you say about power number one's future spouse? Please give me one spot, part of the time spirit, one part of the time spirit, one part of the time. What can you say about? So what I'm seeing here is your future spouse is going to be a well obviously they're going to be a soulmate. But you know, you know what's crazy? I, at first I was starting to say that and I was like, well obviously this is big ass sage. I was like, well obviously they're gonna be a soulmate. Obviously they're gonna be your soulmate. But then when I as I started to come out my mouth, I started to realize like people, we do know that people end up with people that are not supposed to be with all the time. But before for uh for three D reasons, like it could be money. It could be social status. It could be accident, accidental uh, pregnancies. It could be tradition and religion. It could be a whole bunch of things. There's a whole bunch of pe reasons why people get married. So at first, I'm like, why is it telling me like your your uh, spouse is going to be a soulmate? Because of course they're going to be a soulmate if they're going to because they're your spouse. So of course they will be your soulmate. However. I am now realizing as I look at it more and more, like that's just not the case. Like that's not the case. Not always do people get to marry their soulmates, but fortunately you get to marry a soulmate. You you get to marry or 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 are married to your soulmate. So because somebody's watching this and you already married, I don't know why you're here, bro. But <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But anyways, um, I see I like to say this. This they're, what they're telling me, what spirit is telling me is this is gonna be true love. Like you're actually gonna be in this lifetime, you're gonna find true love. You're gonna find someone who loves you for you, and you're gonna find someone who you love for themselves. You're gonna find someone you feel completely at home with. You're gonna find someone who, who feel, feels completely at home to you. You're gonna find your other half. Not to say that you're not complete, not to say that you're not completed on your own, not to say that you're not a whole person on your own, not to say that at all, but to say like you with this person is going to make you even better than you already are is what i'm saying this person is going to make you better than you already are even better than you already are yeah yeah you guys are going to have a lot in common some of you guys might meet on like vacation or like somewhere i feel like you guys are going to meet somewhere like on vacation somewhere where it's sunny somewhere where both of you guys are enjoying yourself some type of like um gathering party again like a vacation maybe a resort or something like that or even just a, like a pool party or like a or a, at a club at a at the very least at a bar but maybe the bar has like a tropical setting or maybe you just live in a tropical setting it's tropical climate in general but overall, 
But overall, that's overall that's where you're gonna meet your soulmate at. That's where you're gonna meet your future spouse at. While you guys are both enjoying yourself, and I guess you guys are both gonna catch each other's eye, and then you guys are gonna start linking up, and you guys are gonna start talking. And at first, I feel like it's gonna be a physical attraction, but as you guys start talking and get to know each other, you're gonna be like, oh, I, I kind of like you, like you. I got like actually being around you, not just you know the physical attractive about you. Like yes, you're attractive, but there's so much more to you, and you're gonna you're you're really gonna like that. Then we have the temperance card. So what I'm hearing with temperance is I feel like as far as your person, your person is going to come at you full on and head on and it's super hard. Like they're not going to hold back. They're not going to act like, oh, well, you know, I don't really know her like that. So I'm not going to give her my all. I don't really know him like that. I'm not going to give give them my all. Like, no, that's how you are. I feel like you're probably been through a lot or you're going to be just getting out of a relationship or you're just getting out of a relationship now. And you don't really want to give all to all of yourself. You don't want to give, um, you don't want to put too much of effort into anything really but you're going to meet this person and they're going to break you down little by little like this person's going to go full in when they first meet you they're going to be like oh you want to go on a date you want to go here you want to go there like you know i feel like i feel like you're my person like you feel me i'm not letting up but you're going to be like mm, i don't know like you might be my person you may not be my person like but you're going to start to give little and little and little because you're never you you've never met somebody like this somebody who gives selflessly somebody who gives effortlessly effortlessly somebody who 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 doesn't feel like they need to hold back somebody who who's in touch with their emotions somebody who can answer your questions somebody somebody who can answer their question answer your questions with confidence so it's like you ever um you ever meet somebody who like easily offended or some shit or like if, if something did go wrong y'all guys kind of can't communicate about it because the other person is going to get defensive this is not this person they're able to talk to their talk to their issues they're able to talk through things with you they're very much self-aware they're very they're very much self-aware they're very much you know um emotionally intelligent is the word i'm looking for and you're not quite used to that so at first i feel like you're going to think it's fake and you're going to be like man fuck out of here you get what i'm saying like you might be a test but later but overall after a while you're going to start to open up more and more little by little and you're going to start to really really like this person like you're going to start to really really like this person pile number two you're gonna start to really, really dig this person, and they're gonna, and you're gonna want to go all in. So your next card is um, the Two of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is you guys are gonna be inseparable. You and your future spouse are gonna be fucking inseparable, and your and your future. Like I feel like your love language might be a uh, personal, person, uh, physical touch, and like um. Um, what's it called? Um, quality time, and that's their exact same exact on uh, love language too. So it's like you guys, it's a, it's it's not. I don't want to say it's toxic, toxic, but it's a little toxic in a way because you you guys are gonna be that couple. You ever uh, seen those like TikToks where it's like um. I'm bringing my boyfriend. I don't care where we going. Or I'm bringing my girlfriend. I don't care where we going. It's like that. It's like. Everywhere you go, you gonna want to be. You gonna want to be with your boyfriend. Like I don't care if you're going to Target. If y'all don't live together yet. Or before y'all start living together, because I feel like this is gonna, I feel like in a year tops or like or close to it, y'all gonna be that like, moved in with each other and everything and a start a family and all that, right? So I say all that to say is um if you haven't already or something close to that, but if but what well, I say it to say you guys are gonna wanna do everything with each other, y'all gonna wanna go everywhere with each other, do everything with each other, like all that. Like you get what I'm saying, all that. Y'all doing everything, y'all with each other. When you see one, you see the other. You guys are going to be attached at the hip. You guys are going to be attached physically, mentally, sexually, all type, any type of attachment you can probably find, you're going to have it. You're going to definitely have it with this person. Then you have the lover's car. So, of course, as your future spouse, you guys are going to have a beautiful wedding. I think you guys are either going to have a wedding in a place you met or somewhere tropic. Both of you guys really enjoy the beach and really enjoy the hot weather. So, you're definitely going to have a, you guys are going to have a, um, a, a hot, I feel like it's going to be a hot wedding somewhere, like a desk destination wedding so maybe like the bahamas jamaica miami somewhere it's a lot of palm trees and stuff like that or you guys could just live in a hot climate all together but you guys are definitely going to have a hot weekend you guys are going to be um also going to have a very hot sex life so you guys are going to be definitely fucking all the time like anytime y'all can anytime anywhere anyhow y'all definitely going to be fucking a lot like this person this person loves this person like your future spouse really likes kissing i don't feel like you were a big kisser until you met your future spouse i feel like you were the type of person i'd be like oh i don't really i don't really um 
I don't really kiss people or whatever, but then when you mentioned future spouse, she was like, oh, you can't like keep your hand. You guys literally can't keep your hands off of each other. So because you guys can't keep your hands off of each other, it's like, mm. like you're going to say it's like you guys just always like constantly having sex. That's why I feel like if, if you're a female, you want, if you don't want a baby, I would definitely take a pregnancy test. But I see some of you guys um, having a baby anyway having a baby anyway like i feel like all this is going to happen within a year or two years like this is going to be a fast relationship like this person is going to come in and win you over super fast super fast right and then you have the will of fortune like you guys are going to be super happy together super bright your vibration is going to rise their vibration is going to rise you guys are going to get so many opportunities because of being together so if you guys might work in a similar um a similar industry or M or an industry that complements each other. Like, for example, like, um, okay, my example would be this. And I say, I'd like to help you out with y'all. And this is an example, right? I work in, the, I have, I work in the Airbnb, the theme Airbnb, the studio rental. That, that's what, that's what my businesses are, right? A perfect complimentary job, a perfect complimentary man to me, like as far as having a job would be a guy who works in real estate, a guy who buys properties, a guy who rehabs properties, things like that. That together works very well. You get what I'm saying? You get So it'll be like that. So if you do music, maybe this person owns studios or if you do fashion, maybe this person you know is very business minded. If you do law, maybe this person works in criminal justice or something like that. It's like, or this person might work in tech and you work in like, um, you work in something else. I don't know what compliments tech, you guys. Like, I don't know, social media marketing or something like that. But whatever you guys work in, this person is going to complimentary to that. So you guys basically, like when you at work, right, you need a team to do something. So you have somebody doing one thing and then you're doing something, right? And then because both because you're doing that and they're doing that together, it makes something else. You get what I'm saying? So I say all, I say all that to say this. I say all that to say this. I say all that to say this. Um... What I'm basically seeing here is that your person is going to compliment your career that you're in and you're going to compliment the career that they are in. And because it compliments the careers that you guys are both in, because it comp compliments the careers that you, you guys are both in, it is going to elevate both of you guys. It's 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 going to elevate both of you guys. Meaning... Opportunities are going to come. Because like I said before, and as an example, because I'm trying to give you an example. If I work in Airbnbs and my husband is a, a, a property owner, a real estate person, right? That if he's buying buildings and I'm Airbnb and them and we're turning and we're starting to run a profit, obviously, you know, obviously together we're building something, we're creating something, we're, you know, we're building something, we're creating something, we're making something, we're, we're building, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's something like that. So I, I would definitely look forward to that. I would definitely look forward to that if I was you guys. Let's see what their personality traits are going to be. What are their personality traits going to be? What are our personality traits going to be? So for your personality, you got vulnerability. So this person is going to be very this this person is going to be an introvert. Probably this person is going to be an introvert. Probably someone who talks a lot. Probably somebody yeah. This person is going to be an introvert. Probably someone who talks a lot. Probably somebody who um always has something to say to you. I can see a lot of comedians. Somebody who makes you laugh. Somebody who know like this person just loves to talk. Like if you don't like to talk, like listen, I don't know what you're going to do. This person likes to talk, 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 talk. This person likes to talk for you, with you, about you. This person always likes to talk and likes to gossip whether they're a man or a woman is very person is very talkative they might be in a field where they talk a lot might be in like the motivational speaking or have a youtube channel or something like that or be some type of teacher or something where they talk to people all day but this person is very social let's see what this person is going to look like can i get some uh this person real quick so if you're asking about a guy i think this person might be bald even if it's a girl though which one? Okay, they said I only need one card. So this person, even if it's a if it's a guy, it, they probably got a low cut or they got a body or they're bald and I'm feeling I'm feeling like really body. If it's a female, she might have a shorter cut. She might have a shorter cut. Um I don't know. She, yeah, she might have a shorter cut or something like that. Or she might wear her hair slip back in a ponytail. But she this person, even if they have long hair, they don't really like having their hair in their face. So they probably wear their hair up a lot or pulled back so you can see their face. They like that like they like for people to see their face. Whether it's a male or woman, they have a beautiful smile. They got all their motherfucking teeth. 
beautiful smile i don't know if some of them got veneers because this is giving veneer energy so if this person got a little bit of money they probably got them veneers done but you feel me right <laughs> but anyways they um they got really nice teeth they got really bright eyes i'm hearing some of you guys this person has big bright blue eyes or like some type of this big they have big eyes in general but somebody specifically has big blue bright eyes and that's what's going to capture that's what's going to capture i feel like this is a girl because i can see me looking at her from across the club and like her eyes you just got trapped trapped in her eyes or something like that tell me if that's y'all well, i love to hear the story this person probably has high cheekbones skinnier face on this on a slimmer side slim to you know slim to thick side not really i don't see a heavy set person regardless um but yeah they really have nice teeth or whatever nice teeth and big eyes maybe a bald head or short hair or they wear their hair slipped out of their head a lot so let's see what your angels got to say about this before we move on to the next file Remember who you are. So just be yourself and below one. So your angel's advice is, I think that some of you guys have been looking for a soulmate, have been looking for a partner, and you'll be like, damn, like I'm such a great person. Why can't I find a soulmate? Why can't I find a partner? Why is it taking so long? You know, like I'm so awesome and shit like that. My thing is stop looking. Spirit wants you to stop looking and understand that your, the, your partner is going to come to you by you being yourself. So you don't have to watch all these uh, femininity shits and all these high value men and shits and oh you need to do this to get a girl and oh you need to do that to get a girl or you need to do this to get a man you need to get that to get a man spirit wants to tell you that the person that they made for you is tailored to you and they like your weird ass the way you are right you've been trying a little bit hard you've been trying a little bit too hard and you're right you're you are awesome you are awesome but you literally were saved for this person because like i said a lot of people are in relationships because they were they just you know what was messing with each other and you know shit happened but this is you actually get to be in a soulmate connection you actually get to be with the person that that spirit made for you to be with and that is awesome okay and you're only going to get that by being yourself so just remember that okay this person's going to like you for you love you for you but with that being said that is your reading pile number one i hope it resonates if it does please let me know Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. If you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. I will be putting up the um the winner for my 5K one now that we're at 100. I'm sure we're going to stay at 5K. I'll be putting that up um, later tonight. And then our next our next giveaway will be at 6,000. So just keep leaving them red hearts because the more red hearts that I see from you, the more um chances you have to win. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Um, right now, I'm doing same day readings for 25 bucks. So if you're interested in that, you could, that link is in the description box below. But with that being said, we're going to move on to pile number two. Okay, pile number two. Let's see what we got in here. Vitality. What can you tell me about? Trust. Options. This is interesting. I like this. I like your story, pile number two. I like your story. So, what I'm seeing here about you, I feel like your partner, your future spouse, a lot of people are fighting over your future spouse. A lot of people want to be with your future spouse. A lot of people want to be your future spouse. A lot of people look up to your future spouse. A lot of people, a lot of people really like, really, they be fighting over your future, your future man or your future woman. Like they literally fight over them. Like you, they got, you got people in competition. You got people wanting to fist fight each other. You got people like just jealous. Like you want to have a lot of exes of this person's upset because everybody wants this person this person's probably super duper fucking super attractive this person your person super duper fucking attractive your person super duper um 
you know, like, uh, pop, may, I, yeah, obviously popular, but even if they're not popular, I feel like the circle of people they are around are tend to fight over them, right? And then the reason why, though, is like crazy because your person is like super healthy and shit like that. So your person is only going to follow someone that they trust. They're only going to follow someone. They're only going to go, like, it, it, when I say follow, I mean date too. Like, they're only going to follow someone they trust. They're only going to follow someone they respect. They're only going to follow somebody they admire. They're only going to follow someone who treats them with, like, treats them the same way I just said like respect with admiration and things like that so the thing about the way that you guys are going to start messing around is this person was came, came from a lot of toxic stuff you came from a lot of toxic stuff and both of y'all are going to just decide like I don't want to be around nothing toxic no more I don't want to play these games no more like I, and I honestly feel like both of y'all probably was the toxic ones too because that's why y'all got a lot of motherfuckers fighting over y'all both of y'all probably just some toxic shit or, or just had one of them personalities like especially I feel like you pile number um two is very very nonchalant so a lot of motherfuckers be falling in love with you because when you nonchalant and people really hate themselves everyone wants what they can't have so it's like it kind of hurt their ego like when you leave them on scene you're not texting them like that you're not really giving them no play like they, they feel like oh it's something within themselves when, when honestly it could just be you wanting to stay home and watch netflix like you know what I'm saying? so i feel like because that's literally your personality that's why you you know you have you you consider toxic even though i don't feel like you're toxic but people might consider you're toxic but Furthermore, I say I like to say this, people really want you and they really want your person, right? But you guys are going to decide to be together and not to mess with these other people, not to mess with these toxic individuals, whether you created them or they were just toxic on their own. You guys are going to decide y'all don't want to play the game no more. You guys are going to have, you guys are going to literally be the, uh, the, 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 the it couple. Like you have everything, they have everything and money, finances, looks, money, look, money, finances, looks, um, magic sex uh, by intelligence everything it's like it's going to be overwhelming it's going to be one of those couples like it's going to be i'm trying to figure out like who is a couple like that people will fuck like i guess like how um i guess like how michael b jordan and lori harvey was like i'm not attracted to lori to michael b jordan but a lot of people are was attracted to him and then michael and then lori harvey is fucking beautiful right so it's like they have intelligence they have money they have smarts they have looks they have all this shit like damn right i have a threesome with them you get what i'm saying like you know not literally but i'm saying it's, it's like that it's like it's like why do y'all it's like y'all are like the perp y'all look so perfect y'all smell so perfect y'all like people presume y'all to be so fucking perfect because y'all have so much going for it it's you, you guys Selves. like you guys have so much going for each other right so then i have no need to do so right here what i'm saying what i'm saying with this part pile number pile number four is like what's going to attract you guys two together is because you guys are not going to be y'all not going to be doing too much especially you pile number two like you're a type of person that's nonchalant anyway and then this person's used to everybody ch um ch follow i'm um, trying to get at them and trying to trap them and try to like be with them and shit like that but they're nonchalant as well so it's like damn like you being nonchalant but you're not gonna you're not gonna feel uncomfortable you're not gonna feel pull like you know what I'm saying like you're gonna be like okay that motherfucker's not a lot cool this person though they're gonna spark especially if it's a guy he's gonna be like yo why the fuck she being like that and he is gonna it's gonna attract your future spouse even more because you're not doing too much you're just chilling you're just waiting you you're just chilling just waiting and like oh well you want to be together cool you don't want to be together cool and this person that's going to attract this person to you more and that's going to make this person like you and make this person want to be with you so this person's going to definitely come towards you then your last card out is the um engagement card so you guys are going to go on a lot of dates a lot of fancy dinners maybe even some date trips and stuff like that but you guys are really going to enjoy each other's time both you guys enjoy dressing up both you guys uh, enjoy attending luxury events or, or events of some type of nature something that involves food so you guys are really going to bond over the dating the dating choices that you guys do as far as like but i feel like it's going to have something to do with dressing up as, or something to do with eating or trying something exotic but you guys are going to have you guys are really going to enjoy each other's time right so let's see what your spiritual, spiritual spouse's personality is going to look, um, be like. So personality, yeah, like I feel like your person, your person is going to be super laid back and super chill like you. Like they're not going to be trying to do too much. They're not going to be in the mix too much. Like if they do, it's going to be some classy shit. You feel me? But they not hype. Like they don't like the fame and the and the popularity that they that your person does have. It has nothing to do with them wanting that shit. It's just something that came natural. You get what I'm saying? It's just something that came natural to them. And because it became natural to them, it's like all right, cool. Like you get what I'm saying? It's like all right, cool. So this person is basically um what i'm seeing here is this person's basically got a chill laid back type of demeanor to them 
and you guys both really like that because both y'all just be chilling out the way y'all the type of couple to be like the it couple and just disappear getting money and like taking trips and having good sex and and having and making and creating a whole family and like the internet don't even see all that y'all happy as hell right so what is your person gonna look like i feel like your person if it's a female she's definitely gonna have long hair a big butt um a curvy shape or something like that yeah definitely a curvy shape nice boobs um as well very voluptuous girl but but long hair if it's a guy i feel like he's going to be very chiseled very strong very strong features very strong cheek is what i'm hearing here oh it's one of them guys that i hate too like you know the guys that got the nice eyebrows and lashes i feel like he's also going to be a type of guy that has the nice eyelashes has uh has has a, has a light eyelashes and eyebrows i don't understand that like what they need eyebrows and eyelashes for like they be having the perfect like skin eyebrows and lashes is crazy right um and they eat shit they eat shit they drink shit i don't get it but regardless this person is going to be like supermodel is both of you guys are going to be like supermodel is so you know like y'all look y'all are very attractive i'm sure you know you're very attractive about them too but yeah so let's get some advice before i move on it's the last pile you have clairvoyance. I am helping you with your spiritual side to awaken and fully see, clearly see heavenly love. So yeah, so this person is going to come towards you. It's really nothing more you want, you need to do. This person was already aligned to you. I feel like you kind of knew this person was always coming. Like, because that's, I feel like some of you guys have really, high, well, all of you guys, pile number two, have really high standards. And this person also have really high standards. And people always say like, you're never going to meet somebody to meet these standards. These standards are so high. But reality, this person was made for you and you were made for this person. And, not, and you guys do meet each other's standards. So just, just keep this energy that you have and your person is definitely on the way but with that being said that is your reading pile number two i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified so i can be, so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a personal reading that information description box below if you're interested in my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below i will be posting my um my winner soon um but yeah, so the next the next one will be at six thousand subscribers. But right now, if you want a personal read, I am doing same day reads for twenty five dollars um, Monday through Monday through Monday through Friday. So if you're interested in that, that link is in the description box below, and you can hit that and you can ask me three questions about anything besides pregnancy or murder. But with that being said, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna go on to my third pile. You have the two of cups. The king of pentacles. Six of cups. So we have the two of cups, we have the ten of the king of pentacles, the six of cups, the lovers, and the eight of pentacles. So your future spouse. Mm. This is weird to me because I don't know. 
know, but you know, you know, earlier I was saying like how some people got to be with their soulmate and some people got to be with people they love. And like, that's really rare. Like some people just don't get to be with people they love. Some people just get to be with like whoever is like best for their life or whoever like can contribute to their life in the best way and stuff like that. I feel like this is, this right here is one of those situations because I feel like with this, the first cup being the two of cups, I feel like you guys are going to fall in love based off looks. Like you're going to see this person as this, if you're a guy, if you're a woman that's into a guy or whatever and you can flip this around if you're the uh the, the guy watching about a girl you're gonna think he's this masculine strong like and he is gonna be this masculine strong like sexy like alpha male and and he's gonna see you as this feminine dainty like beautiful wife like and you guys are gonna love each other and grow and get be interested in each other based off the aesthetics the aesthetics look like y'all belong together the aesthetics look like y'all um Y'all look good together aesthetically. Just y'all are just very aesthetically pleasing, right? This person is a little bit greedy, so they do work a lot. I'm not saying they're bad. Some of them are a little like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like they a little bit do anything for money or like sleazy salesmen or something like that. But the rest, but they're not gonna be mean to you. That's just how they are in general. So I'm just telling you how they get their money. But regardless. They're going to be so focused on money. Like, your future spouse, all he care about is money. All she care about is money. Like, money, 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 money. Trying to get money, this person is going to work a lot. Like, this person is literally going to work a lot. Like, having a, having money is not enough. Like, having money is not Like, having, like, is they have to have a lot of money. They can't just have a little bit of money. They have to have a lot of money, right? So, they're going to literally be, like, at work 24-7, you know, um, working all the time, whether it be their phone or something like that, or a lot. You not You may not see this person not, but let me tell you this baby if you are a woman in this situation you will have everything you ever fucking wanted you don't gotta do nothing you don't have to work for nothing. some of you guys might choose to work because you might as well but you really don't have to your person is definitely gonna have money and they're not gonna be stingy about it like they're gonna make sure y'all have the best do the best they're gonna make sure you're pampered they're gonna make sure you're chilling or whatever now if you're a woman this is literally gonna be you you're gonna be chilling like you're literally gonna see him and you're gonna ride that dick and he's gonna go back to work like literally like y'all might talk and stuff like sometimes of course y'all gonna talk and spend time but it's like it's gonna be like sex money like desire passion like relationship i don't even think y'all gonna have kids by the way i think y'all guys are gonna have kids like later but this person is like they their lifestyle was very fast their lifestyle is very expensive and they're gonna introduce you to that or if it's a female that's what she's used to and she's gonna bring you're gonna have to just provide that but, but you are i don't know why but you're gonna raise up to that level you are because this is the whoever the feminine energy is is definitely gonna be a housewife or be somebody who's very pampered very spoiled um your wife is going to be very spoiled if you're asking about like if you're a guy or whatever um very spoiled very pampered very girly girl um if you're a woman that's what, if you're not that bitch i'm telling you right now you better hang up the cape because you about to be that so you about to be getting your nails done at fucking eight in the morning instead of clocking in okay the sex is going to be bomb. The sex is going to be bomb.com. You're going to be putting him to sleep. You He's going to be wearing you out. Like, y'all guys are going to have sex so fucking much. It's going to be crazy. And you guys' energy are going to be in intertwined because you guys are having sex so much. However, I don't see kids right away. Like, I see this being a very fun relationship. I'm kind of jealous because this look like sex, money, and fun. This look like sex, money, and fun, baby. Sex, money, and fun. Mm-hmm. This looks like sex, money, and fun. Hardcore sex, money, and fun. So, yeah, you guys are definitely going to be always down to do the deal. This person is going to be always down to do it to you, and it's going to be very fun. Now, what's crazy about this, the craziest card is this one. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So, what I'm saying with this card, pile number, my pile number three, is that this person literally got dragged. Like, you literally dragged this person into marriage. Like, this person was never, they never thought they would get married. They never thought they would like someone enough to get married. They never thought they would participate in marriage. They never thought that somebody would lock it down. They never thought that they would want to be locked down. They never, th they never thought they would want to be in a committed relationship but you came and you changed all that you changed you came and you changed all that for him and you basically secured the bag and secured them right basically so this person you guys are going to get married and the girl didn't think she was getting married either she was planning on having a hot girl summer the rest of her life and you came along and she was like all right we, we out 
Okay, so how is your person's personality? You have initiative. So if it is a guy, you're going to be spoiled financially because this person wants to take care of you. This person wants to be for you. This person wants to make things easy for you. If you are a female, this this woman is going to spoil you. When you come home, it's going to be, I got your slippers, your dinner, your t-shirt, and so much more. Let me cater. Like this person, but this is that person's love language. This person's love language is making their partner happy, spoiling their partner any way they, in the best way they can whether it be financially or with time and attention and like meals or whatever it is their language is they're going to spoil they like spoiling a partner spoiling a partner makes them feel good about themselves right but make sure you precipitate that this person is not looking for it but this person but this person will appreciate it because this person gets nothing from others this person went through life giving 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 so much because that's a part of their personality they're used to people who take 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 so what they're going to do is they're going to fall in love with you because you compliment them and you don't just take you don't just take you also give back okay so let's see what this person's going to look like before we get you some advice Okay, you have the three of cups and you have, uh, yeah, this person, you guys might look similar to each other or whatever. You guys might look similar to each other, but you guys are definitely going to be good looking. And when you guys do have a child, that child is going to be good looking. This person, this person is going to always be in the mirror. Like this person looks like a movie star. When I tell you this person looks like a movie star, this person looks perfect in every single way. So if it's like, oh, um, if it's like, um, because it's, like, but, but for me, it's like, it's no Pacific, it's no Pacific like looks, but like when you see this person, you're going to feel like this person is a little bit i don't want to say i like to say this but a little bit out of your league but you don't know that you fine too but this person's going to think the same thing about you they're going to think damn that person's out of my league or whatever but this person's going to think you fine and you're going to think they're fine and it's like it's no real like what they're going to look like but just know they're going to look like your favorite movie star so whoever your favorite movie star or whoever pops up in your head why i just said that that's what your future spouse is going to look like or be similar to let me see what your advice is you have relationship harmony so finally a relationship with equal give and take finally a relationship where you get what you want and they get what they want maybe you thought this wasn't possible maybe your friends always told you like oh you asked for too much your standards are too, too high spirit wants you to know that is that is not a fact at all you are finally for once going to be in a relationship that is non-toxic that you actually want to be in that you guys are both attracted to each other and you guys are going to be very happy but with that being said that is your reading pile number two i hope it res i mean pile number three i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a personal reading that information description box below if you're interested enter my free reading giveaway or you have to do the right heart in the comments section below and i will see you guys in my next reading bye